Hi everyone, this is Tiffany with Raising House and Home, and today we're going to Shaw's to get quite a few of their 97 cent deals that they have going on, and one of them is these potatoes, and it is 97 cents for the whole bag, and I apologize for my video skills, um, they are still working on the store, moving things around. So they have about five or four employees in each section. So it's kind of a little bit harder to video. And I don't think they would mind, but I'm just really shy about videoing. And so I'm trying to kind of do this on the down low. So that's probably why you're a little bit too close to the produce. Um, but here I'm getting the pears. And I'm just gonna get two because sometimes they, um, kids don't eat them. And so I just get a couple just for a little treat. And if they don't eat them, then I've only lost two. This is another one of their Fab Five deals where you have to buy five items to get the sale price. And the good thing is they let you mix and match. So if I didn't want to get all pasta, I could look at the list and pick five things from the sale. And then here is the Progresso soups. And you'll see they're 99 cents a can and they were pretty empty. Um, but I did find a few. And then right now I'm looking through the um, discount bread cart and there is a manager on each side of me. So I put my shopping list um, on top of my phone <laughs> so that they couldn't see that I was videoing. So I was just kind of holding my phone and so the footage isn't that great, but at least you get to see some stuff. And I got those nuts for my son. We had some different things in there. Um, but nothing I was really too interested in. And I was kind of stalling, hoping that the managers would leave so that I could take better video, but they didn't. So. <laughs> so we're back and have everything on the table to show you what we got and unfortunately it is raining and dark out and I put every light on that I can put on and I'm near the window so hopefully you guys can see things pretty well it just may not be the brightest video I've ever done <laughs> um, but it is that time of year it's very cold and it's just really dreary out so what's not dreary is the deals that I got today. I'm so excited to show you. All right, so here are the five pound bags of russet potatoes. There was a limit of two and they were only 97 cents each, not pound, but each bag. So I spent about 194 for 10 pounds of potatoes and that's a really good deal. Usually at Walmart, I will spend between five and six dollars for the 10 pound um, russet potato bag. And then over here, I got the three pound bags of yellow onions and they were only 97 cents a bag as well. So six pounds of onions for $1.94, perfect for November cooking and they will last probably to the end of November. So probably Thanksgiving cooking. And then we got two pears. Um, my boys like pears, but they have to be in the mood for them. So whenever I see them on sale, I will get some. And um, and they like them just kind of like for a treat that they're not used to getting. Um, and then we've got two, uh, two pound bags of carrots. And these were 97 cents each bag also. So 194 for that super good deal and then we had these progresso soups and you had to buy five to get the deal so i think they were 99 cents or 97 cents a can 
I'll have to look at that um, and put it down in the description and let you know um, how much they were. But I think it was 99 or 97 cents a can. And you had to get the Vegetable Classic and they were pretty much sold out of that, that type. Um, I found these in a cart inside of a box <laughs> just sitting there. So I was glad that I found these. And we got the tomato, rotini. I got, I think, three or four of those. That's all they really had left. And I love macaroni and tomato salad, uh, macaroni and tomato soup. And it was actually one of the things that I used to eat a lot as a kid. Um, my mom was a single mom, and she used to just come home and say, okay, uh, how about some tomato soup with macaroni? <laughs> so we ate that a lot. And then I also had this garden vegetable um, soup as well. So I think my husband or my team will eat that. But it's good to have on hand. And then I got the five things of pasta. And those were cheap as well. I think they were 70 cents a box. But I will, again, double check that. And then I got these 50% off nuts. They were $3.99 originally, so I paid $1.98. And those are good for the kids to have for a snack. It seems like it's a pretty big bag, so that should last us a little bit. And then I got this pasta, which is the penne, and it was 50% off. So it was about the same price as the boxed um, store brand. And if they had had more of this, I would have gotten more, but this is the only bag they had. So I grabbed that, and then the challenge butter was $1.97 a pound. I'm sorry, $1.90. And then the challenge butter um, was only $1.97 a box. And I had coupons that would have made them like $1.10 off, so it would have been like pennies, but I forgot them at the house. But these ones go on sale quite often, and those coupons will last for a long time. So I will be able to use them eventually. And then I got these 50% off loaves of bread. And so I think I spent about 50 cents for both of them. And this one is squished because of me. So <laughs> they were not squished when they were in the um, in the cart. And then we got these sliced bagels, everything. I love finding these on discount. Usually you'll find the plain or the whole wheat or cinnamon with the um, raisins, which my kids don't like. Um, and so I am always excited when I find the flavor that they like on discount. So these will be good for breakfast for a little while. We've got um, two of those. So I think those are about 50 cents, maybe a dollar for that package. And you can pay over a dollar for one bagel um, anywhere else. So then over here, we got the 50% off hot dog buns. I got two packages. And if you've watched me for a while, you know that I have children that don't really like bread that much. Um, they would prefer like hot dog buns for their sandwiches. And then I got these, which are like the thicker hot dog buns. These are perfect for sandwiches. So those are 50% off. Um, and then I got this uh, box of Honey Bunches of Oats. And we had two boxes, but as you know, cereal doesn't last long in a big family. And so that's already gone. And then I have this um, white corn meal that was 50% off. And I like to make a lot of cornbread with chilies and things like that um, during the winter time. So I will definitely use this up this winter. And then I went back and I got one of these for myself. <laughs> if you saw my other video, I will um, link it actually up top uh, in the right hand corner here. And I got some of these for stocking stuffers for my daughter-in-law and my daughter. And then I just was walking by and I said, That'd be really nice to have in my van. <laughs> so I got one. It was 50% off, so it was only a dollar. And that'll be really cute to hang up. See it, see it back. You just hang them up and you can pull them down. So that'll be nice to have for the kids in the car. And then I got this dispenser, soap dispenser dish cleaner. And I actually got it for my sink. Um, I'm trying to think what her channel is, but she, it's Gypsy something, and she cleans with one of these, and she puts like a little bit of bleach 
and a little bit of like dish soap inside and then she bleaches her her um, sink out with it and so I thought that was really neat and then I found it um, for only 50 cents at discount so I thought I'd give it a try so there are a few things missing from this um, table because I couldn't fit them all on uh, there are two cases of water they were the 24 packs for 97 cents each and I also got the Halloween candy, which I was lucky to get a coupon on my membership card for $5 off. So I spent about $10 for that big bag of candy, and I have hidden it for Halloween. It is two days away as I film this. Uh, you may see this a little bit later when I upload it. Um, but as of now, we have not had Halloween yet. Um, so that's in hiding. And I also got the soccer kit for $2 um, for the kids to play with outside. So I think... I spent around 30 and then I had that discount, um, I think it was $10 discount for my rewards. So it was only about $20 for all of this food. And these vegetables and things, those would be uh, incorporated in our meals for this whole month of November and also for Thanksgiving. I don't know if the potatoes will make it to Thanksgiving because, you know, I have to make quite a bit of potatoes for everybody. Um, but I know the onions will make it and probably some of the carrots will make it for that. And um, I know the bread probably won't last that long, but it should last us about two weeks or so, maybe, because um, we're just not big bread eaters. We just eat mostly like the tortillas and things. So I think that will last us for quite a while. And this is how I'm able to save money with my groceries I buy things when they're on sale that I know we're going to use and then I can stock up and then you know sometimes we can splurge on something if we if something's on sale and maybe we feel like having some beef instead of chicken but the beef's not on sale well we might have enough in our grocery budget because I bought these things when they were on sale and so now we have a little bit extra and now we can buy a little bit of beef it's it's really a great way for me and how I've always done it and it saves so much money if you can buy things on sale that you know you're gonna use and also that last a long time sometimes things aren't really that shelf stable and you you don't want to overbuy like the fresh produce unless you're gonna freeze it dehydrate it or can it um, but these items, like the soup and the pasta, the cornmeal, all of that can last for a really long time, and these can go in the freezer. So don't just buy something just because it's on sale. You want to really think about your purchases and have the knowledge before you purchase um, what you're going to do with it when you get it home. Will it sit out and get ruined? Will it just be wasted and not eaten? Um, you know, have a plan in your mind before you buy it. Um, and that's one of the ways you can save your money and not waste it on sale items. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and happy. I know that things are not looking so good right now and the numbers keep crawling up. Um, but hopefully we're going to get through this second wave or some people think it's not even a second wave. It's just been going for a while. Um, Anyway, I hope that we get through this year uh, together, and I thank you for spending time with me and watching um, my grocery hauls and my other videos as well. And I will talk to you guys real soon. Please click subscribe below if you haven't already, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put up videos like this one. Thanks again, guys. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.